top of the morning to you laddies. It's your boy Pewdie Septipi here, ready for another Heart of Line 4 A to Z episode. I know your heart rate's already uh, racing at this title and this thumbnail, and so is mine, because I haven't tested this mod, I haven't tested a strategy. And I think it's going to go badly. But yes, we're through the eyes now. And we're uh, thankfully coming towards the end. We've just got one more nation left. And uh, not too looking forward to that one. But until then, we have Ireland. And Ireland is going to go through hell today. There she is, pals. The Emerald Isles. Look at it. Emerald. Green. With a... That, what's that little growth you got there at the top? <laughs> Just kidding. Uh, I meant the green part at the bottom. That's the growth. Or if you're from the uh, the Republic of Ireland, look at the north bit. That's the growth. Either way I go about this, I'm a radical centrist. I'm trying to please you both here. Don't petrol bomb me. I, I say that even though uh, both the people from these parts of Ireland are actually quite rational towards each other nowadays. It's just... um. Weirdly enough, these people that seem to be throwing their hat in the ring. I am 164th Irish, and I will not have you not have my United Ireland. Oh, don't worry, little uh, Timmy from uh, probably somewhere over here. I will do you and your ancestors proud today by maybe uniting Ireland, or really, realistically, perhaps dying. Oh, that's, uh... That's always a good thing to see when getting into Hoi 4. Um, just, uh... <laughs> Global saturation. All right, boys. Let's see how much I can fill the screen out. This this will be a cool one, right? Uh, so, how is your guys' days doing? You know, you having fun today? You have uh, had some breakfast or cereal? Maybe a glass of water? You should drink some water. You know, it's quite good for you. I uh, think they want you to drink at least twelve gallons a day. I am not a robot. I am not a robot. Hello, fellow humans. <laughs> drink 12 gallons of water a day and consume sustenance. Sorry, boys. I've actually been a uh, Russian computer program this entire time. Radicalizing the youth to uh, such silly concepts as Denmark being a real country. <laughs> That's right. I'm bringing the meme back at Bo Cohen. All right. <laughs> Here we go. POV, you are iSorrow Production Psyche, and you just decided to do Hoi 4 A to Z. It's funny because it's true. Uh, here comes the satisfying part. Hold enter. Oh god, that wasn't even all of them. Look at it go. There you go, we've, we've made it to the end. That in itself was a, was a success. Alright, so if you remember back in the day, Always War is a simple mod where every nation you border you go to war with. So yeah, it's very laggy, but it is also very fun. And uh, some nations don't do too well and other nations do all right. Ireland is a nation I imagine won't do too well. Uh, realistically, I may have to buff them a little bit to survive here, but for now, we're not going to because our little army of uh, very well equipped stature. Yeah, don't worry. The great Irish army will knock the British out. We'll hold Ireland. We'll unite it. We'll all get back to Dublin for a Guinness, a famous Irish drink with his headquarters in London and founded by an Irish unionist. And it also tastes like shit. <laughs> so POV, you are going to die probably any second now. What do you research? Well, I guess we'll, <laughs> we'll, we'll go for this. <laughs> I'm expecting some major lag from this, but um, I'm also expecting to die immediately. We'll see. I'm not too sure how this is going to go. But Britain is at war with a lot of people right now, so maybe I could sneak on in and do some damage. Also, the wars aren't done just yet. People are still <laughs> declaring more wars. And uh, I just realized the British don't even have any troops here, so technically... We have pushed them out already. We just need to hold the ports somehow. My ally, Stalin! I was going to say, I'm not going to join your war, Stalin, but realistically, there is no point not to. All right, the chaos is definitely unfolding everywhere. I think because everyone is just blowing each other up, I may be able to sneak under the radar here and survive. Yeah, that's usually what happens. Journey immediately just gets... um devoured pov you say you watch dubbed anime at the weeb club <laughs> kind of weird to see switzerland actually making a push also surviving and also losing all at the same time uh well 
Looks like I'm gonna have some submarines turn up on the shore soon with some strange men in strange uniforms. I don't have eight convoys, but I will take those guns. I do desperately need them, as I cannot hold both of these ports with one unit. Alright, so if I have my bets out right now for who might be the dominant power, I gotta say the Soviet Union starts with the biggest army, and then probably France. France also gets a pretty big army. Um, Germany is actually kind of stabilized on the front right now, probably because every nation pushing into it is also all with every nation pushing into it. Uh, also, America uh, doesn't start off with a big army, but they do have a big industry, and all their enemies next to them also start with smaller armies. And oh my god, El Salvador, calm down! Uh, but you know, humble brag, uh, Ireland will also do really well. I'm surprised I haven't been naval invaded yet, though. Um, I'm assuming the British AI is <laughs> having a mental breakdown trying to naval invade everywhere. In fact, you know what, let's go. Let's just take a look of what they're doing right now. Oh my god, okay, surprisingly, not a single naval invasion around me. I think they're just keeping me in my containment zone right now, though, with all the, uh, navies around me. Alright, we'll check back in later, because I, I imagine this is gonna get pretty crazy with the naval invasions. Oh, I noticed, uh, the, the Netherlands immediately just puppeted Belgium right there, uh, so they must have killed them pretty quickly, which also means we now get, uh, Belgium. <laughs> and then East Belgium. Sorry, I don't realize I messed that up. Um, no, Netherlands did not puppet Belgium. What I meant to say is Netherlands got puppeted by Belgium. Oh my god, okay, the Switzerland tumor is just getting worse. They're, they're getting bigger and they've made a breakthrough in France, but still, somehow, they haven't died. Oh, the Germans are getting pushed back again, but they did just take out Denmark. And that means Iceland has yeeted out of there immediately saying, screw this, we're done with the world. I think because they're not bored to anyone either, they're just gonna chill up there quietly while this man <laughs> sighs into the camera. Oh my god, Sweden. I've seen this one before! Oh my god, I haven't even looked at Japan. Uh, <laughs> what's going on over here, eh? I, I had to come see what the hell is going on with Switzerland, alright? And I just don't get it. Why is the French AI just not pushing into them? Why are they- They're not eating rocks, okay? They're eating just a bag of cement at this point. Oh, look at that, though. <laughs> what's Switzerland over here? At least the Belgians are doing the work, alright? I swear to god, if the Swiss managed to get France here, I- I don't even know what to say anymore. This is ridiculous. All right, though, look at the great defense of Ireland. We got two units now. We got the Thunderbolt Division. It would just be pretty nice if we had some guns for them. The eternal struggle between the Dominican Republic and Haiti is my two last brain cells fighting for dominance. I hate the fact that El Salvador's actually doing alright. <laughs> I'm so fed up of El Salvador. Shout out to all my El Salvadorian viewers. Your nation sucks in Hoi 4. Alright, why, why did Austria just like Tokyo drift around the Czech <laughs> right there? <laughs> why are they going to Berlin? Well, never mind. Uh, Germans just did uh, the Uno reverse card and capitulated the Austrians somehow. I'd just like to note that we were only in May of 1936. It's been half a year. People always question the way I say year because I don't say it like year. I say year. Northern supremacy, my friends. Okay, at least just kind of somehow marched across the desert there, linked up their land yet still somehow dealing with Ethiopia. <laughs> I'm, uh, I just realized because nothing's really happening in Ireland. I'm just uh, reacting. I'm like the new React channel uh, ever since the last one uh, <laughs> went to Reddit hell. Oh, man. That's a big old man. Oh, no. I think the Swiss stream might be over. They've been cut off. Finally. Oh, Spain's dead. And for whatever reason, nobody took them. They just released them. You guys are gonna have to go back to war, you know? Unsurprisingly, France, um, you're, you're straight back at war with Spain. Uh, good luck. I've never been this sad to see Switzerland go. <laughs> and the worst part is, Germans are now making a pretty big comeback. Although, they have been getting destroyed and then getting undestroyed for the past, I don't know, 30 minutes of gameplay that I've been playing. Yeah, the game does run that slow, by the way. Oh. Uh... 
should probably get that checked out, Spain. Oh, man, I thought the great American beast might wake up by now, but they're just losing to Mexico. I don't know, we're still just chilling. Not a single naval invasion, despite the fact I'm uh, war with Britain, and only Britain, because I don't border anyone else other than the people the uh, Soviet Union calls me into. I mean, they're, they're not really uh, pushing the Belgians out, who have now <laughs> made it into Denmark, but the Germans do surprisingly all right, mostly because the Italians are in their faction. Portuguese India was doing all right until they ran into French India, which is uh, <laughs> now taking them out. Oh my God, that was a big peace deal. I think the AI just, yep, they just gobbled France between them. Hey, look at that. <laughs> Another stone in Belgium's little gauntlet right there. They've now got <laughs> Once again, <laughs> Spain is still just left there and I'm assuming they'll go straight back to war. Oh my God. That's a big Peru! I mean, I don't really have a plan for expansion. I kind of just want to sit on my little island <laughs> and just watch the world burn. Oh, I left the game running on its own for like a little while, uh, just to see what would happen. And finally, America has won. Oh God, how did you survive? All right, the Soviets are going kind of ham, I've noticed, but so are the Germans. But the Germans also don't have to worry about most of their borders because they're either a puppet or they've been added to the faction. China's going all right, but they do have a bit of a problem. And somehow Japan is still kicking. Uh. Not sure how that's going. Sadly, big, big Peru was eaten by big, big Argentina. Still, nobody could be bothered to kill Ireland. Thanks, guys. You're making me feel real loved. Uh, Spain has become the place of eternal pain, though, as every time they get pieced out, no one actually takes the land for some reason, and they're just in a state of perpetual endless war. All right, I think I'm going to switch up this axis, so everyone's getting a bit too friendly over here. Oopsie daisy. There we go. That should shake it up a little bit over here. I think that's it. Now that is a Germany I like to see. Oh, Latvia. Uh, you- you go, girl. Oh. Uh... I think, uh, Italy <laughs> just lost to Ethiopia. <laughs> Pretty damn based, if you ask me. That's right. War propaganda against Tahiti! Oh, um, if you thought Balkan politics was confusing already, Wait until you try and understand it in this game. Uh, sorry. Looks like the Soviets and China are getting a bit too friendly, if you ask me. All right, this is definitely a new type of Irish bombs <laughs> in the UK. <laughs> trying to naval bomb their fleet out. Uh-oh. I, I put this naval invasion in case I ever got naval supremacy with my uh, one Russian uh, submarine that I licensed, uh, Lamaka, and my, my naval powers, I wasn't paying attention, and it's actually launched, and we're going to Liverpool. Oh, well, <laughs> let's make the most of it. Now, my thought was that the AI would have not a single unit over here because of all the other crap they're doing in the world. So we are just gonna naval invasion them whilst <laughs> all my convoys trying to get over get raided by British submarines. Uh oh, there's actually a British unit down here. I'm <laughs> gonna get him. Oh, that capitulated them. And I don't have player led peace conference on, so I didn't get a single thing. <laughs> yeah. That was a very cool Soviet Union. Oh, wait a sec, they gave me Scotland. No, they didn't. It's owned, it's a colony of Italy. Uh, but because I'm at war with Italy, uh, <laughs> I'm, <laughs> I'm occupying the Italian colony of Scotland. I guess I'll just go back to Ireland, eh? Well, well at least I can now get safe passage back over uh, into Ireland as the British fleet is now protecting me against the Italian submarines. All right, bad news. Uh, the game keeps crashing <laughs> pretty badly. Yeah, not too sure what's really going on uh, to make the game so laggy. Uh, yeah, if I unpause right now, you can you can kind of see the problem. But uh, if I manage to get like a couple days in, it just stops. It'll be at five speed and the time and date won't move. But I guess this is where we are going to leave off. Um, Spain, right now, for some damn reason, somehow made a comeback and is pushing into Germany. <laughs> Germany just won't goddamn die. And Italy seems to be uh, just alive still. I, again, not too sure how that happened. America... Well, they obviously weren't gonna die. I think they still have a faction. Go Wait, half, I was like, half of the half of the South Americans in the Comintern. That's great. Oh, the Greater Asian Code Prosperity Spear. 
that's all over Africa. And uh, I, I guess the common turn, well, the Soviets, I should say, has just kind of eaten everything. Uh, hey, Japan is still alive and kicking. It's a freeway war over here between them and the Soviets and China. And um, nobody over there is winning. And, and America, I'm assuming, is just dying down here in the jungles. Uh, yep, that's a lot of attrition. 31% attrition. Nice. Yeah, I'm not too sure who's the winner here. I guess Ireland kind of won. Uh, we did invade the UK and didn't get anything out of it. We, you could have given me Northern Ireland. I literally have a claim on it, Soviets, but you're just dead. You created this abomination. Uh, no offense, Northern Ireland. I just, I don't believe in the commune of North Ireland <laughs> by Herbert Bates. Yeah, I don't know who won. Did Ireland win? Probably not. Did America win? Prob no one won. But I knew who lost. And that was the UK, because we destroyed them. But yes, if you enjoyed this little Ahoy 4 A to Z, don't worry. There's, there's a lot more coming. <laughs> so subscribe and join for more fun. I wish I could have carried this on. But to get, like, to 1939, and ironically, right now we have managed almost four... Wait, five hours of recording. I'm going to die.